Well, Kenny, a big welcome to Leighton Orient. How excited are you by this new opportunity? Yeah, it's a big chance for myself to, to, to get back in. I see, I see um, Leighton Orient at the moment as a club with full of potential. That's the attraction for me coming here. There's been some very good work done in recent seasons, coming out of the conference, stabilising in League Two. Um, my own personal ambition is to now take it on to the next level. Uh, and with, with everybody's help and uniting the club, uh, from the board of directors right the way through to the players, uh, uh, the, the supporters, that after uh, COVID now, you know, we want, really want to hit the ground running, unite the club and, and be successful in the coming season. Mm. Talk about taking it to the next level. In, in your time as a manager, you, you've enjoyed, you know, uh, promotions in different clubs. Uh, what does a promotion team have and what do you need in that dressing room to make sure you get over the line? Obviously, the, you need the right players. You don't always need the best players, but you do need the right players for the club that you're at and the division that you're in. And, and that's very, very important. Squad planning is, is, is a massive thing. And I do understand at the moment there's a lot of squad planning to be done. But, you know, it is to some degree a little bit of a blank canvas. Uh, the people that want to come with us on our journey uh, uh, will. The people that don't, then then they won't. And that's, you know, we understand that. But getting the right balance of, of, of the squad and the squad planning is a vital component. And, and along the way then, pulling everybody together, making sure that, you know, right from the, the chairman, the board of directors, down to uh, the, 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 the people that work in the offices, the, 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 the people that work on the ground staff. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's an absolutely vital part of being successful is everybody being together. And, and with uh, uh, the fans coming back at the start of the season, you know, the, the Orient fans are a passionate group and we want to put a product on the field that gets them w w with a buy-in and right behind the team and a good mix of uh, of energy and ability to be able to uh, excite the fans into the new season. Mm. You talk about players there and incomings. Obviously, it's going to be a big summer in terms of recruitment. I guess you and Martin Ling are going to have your work cut out and a big uh, big list of names of, of people you can try and get into the building. Yeah, squad planning is vital. It's, it's, a, it's a key ingredient. Uh, the summer is such an important time. And if a, if a football club has a bad summer, sometimes it can take until the following summer to rectify it because during the course of the season, you do feel like you're fighting fires. Well, there's, there's a chance with uh, um, quite an open squad at the moment uh, to be able to uh, put a side together that can do well for us, uh, most importantly. Uh, and, and then, you know, as a new manager, to, 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 to lay the ground rules and, and put your beliefs down in pre-season, which is a vital time for, uh, for success. And having that clean slate, especially coming in as a new manager, must be incredibly exciting. It is. It's something I've been looking for and, and you know, I'm ready to get going. Uh, and the, you know, I, I'm, I'm not somebody that you know, necessarily likes to be out of football. I, I want the next challenge, you know, very quickly. And, and there's one here. I do see it as a challenge that can be successful. I think it's an exciting one. I do think it's got a, a passionate crowd and a passionate fan base. I want to get those fans, you know, right behind the team, and produce and and, and bring a, you know a real good product onto the pitch that, that they can be proud of. Mm. Well, a bit on that. What, what can Orient fans expect from it from a Kenny Jacket team? We want to compete first and foremost, and, and you know it's a, a notoriously competitive division league too, and and uh, um, one of the tightest divisions as well out of out of all of them. Uh, um, quite a low scoring division, but if you look at the points total for success, it's you know obviously top three, top seven, if you like, are. are, are everybody's targets at the start of the year and, and uh, um, you know the, the the margins are quite close but 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 first you have to have a side that competes and, and then build on that with quality they're the two they're the two aspects that you need in terms of the recruitment process obviously you know you'd have dealt with like some Martin Ling and the board Nigel Travis and, and Kent Teague can you tell us a bit about that process and, and what they told you about the club yeah they they really did sell the club to me uh, and you know, Orient is a club that I do know I know I know it very well but I didn't know I, I know Martin but I didn't uh, you know I didn't know Nigel and Ken it was it was good to meet them good to speak to them they, they have a, a good vision uh, I think they have a good way they're they're hungry for uh, success which is you know something that really did appeal to me and and making sure that they get behind everybody here and, and, and you know, uh, uh, myself as a, as a very important cog in, a, in, we hope, a successful will coming up. Mm. You talk about No and Orient there. We were talking just a minute ago that actually is a, a bit of a family collection, uh, connection there and, and your dad actually played for the O's. He did, yeah. Yeah, back in the 50s, he made some appearances. He, he, he came from Watford to, to Leighton Orient before then going on to play for Ramsgate and Margate. So it's, it's a club that, uh, of course, as a family, we've always followed. And you mentioned the fans on a, on a couple of occasions there. It's been a, it's been a tough season, as you know, with, with no fans in the ground. How excited are you for them to be back in the stadium? Yeah, it's a unique opportunity. 
with, with the fans coming back, they'll have they'll have missed the football. Certainly for us inside the game, we've missed them. And and you know, I do think that there's going to be a you know a, 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 a big enthusiasm level at the start. Now we have to capitalise on that with, with good results, good performances, committed performances, uh, performances with passion, and and performances with desire. And and if we can do that, we can get a, a good bond between the players and the supporters. And that's such a you know an important thing for a successful team uh, to, to to make that bond. It's hard earned, and and it's up to myself and the players to. To, to, to lead now and, uh, and make sure we put the performances on that get the fans behind us. But it is, a, it is a unique opportunity because the fans would have missed their football and you, you, you've got, you know, straight away a fantastic amount of passion coming into the ground.